Hi, it's Norman here, introducing another painting for my show Contemporary Six Gallery. Um, this one is called Little Wonder. I uh, probably started six years ago, maybe. Um, started as a demonstration for an art society, demonstrating how wonderful I am and how I can complete a painting in a couple of hours while talking. Maybe not. Um, a long process in coming about. So the Little Wonder of the title is this little girl here. Um, obviously something autobiographical about the challenges and wonders of parenthood. Um, I started with an initial image of these two figures and felt that it was difficult to decide who was the most important visually. When you get two things that are of equal importance visually, it's hard to know what to look at. So I ended up going through a process of Try, posing myself to find a different figure um, and I'll show you some of those images but in the end I felt that this initial relationship of the hands on the hips the wondering what to do with this little tyrant was was the best solution um, and also I'll show you how I came to the solution of the background as well in the process of many many changes so if you just bear with me I'll take you to the initial photograph. Uh, a very early stage where I was changing the male figure from the original one to one of myself taken in the studio. Sort of trying to express frustration at the child. This is painted into the painting. And this is me trying to figure out the black and white composition of the work uh, through turning it sideways, through introducing things on Photoshop. You can see the big diagonal idea, the big dividing the square painting into diagonally, into light and dark. This is going back to the original figure and applying a glaze over the lady's shirt that is then wiped off in this image. Introducing the nice Marks and Spencer's carrier bags. They must be well-to-do people. Here's for the background. Um, as it was coming nearer to the show in Manchester, I wondered what this background might be, and it seemed to this pillar seemed to remind me of Castlefield. So I'd painted down Castlefield quite a lot. So I changed the background to red brick and made these pillars more specific. So then that brings us to the final painting. Which looks like that. So, thanks for listening. See you soon.